All right. We moved. <laughs> We've moved Elvira into her seat here. Until Torquil to get up, so that Torquil just goes to another seat. Which that was kind of a cue for you to leave the no, studio. But I'm you're not welcome to stay. Leaving. No, I no, told no, you. no. You're absolutely welcome to and stay. And in all that kerfuffle, you missed how amazingly well the band just went right into the song. <laughs> they were dancing. This is a, a band that wants to move and groove. Actually, they just want to play some more. Well, hopefully, we'll get so to So let's them. run through yeah, this. Don't could... be looking at me, Mr. Oh, let's indulge <laughs> Torkel. Please talk about more taxes. For once. Uh, Elvira Kurt, also You're looking too much tanned a... and healthy. I'm not tanned. You know? Just, no. Oh, you look well. You look I very think, healthy. I you think my very... clothes are just very pale. <laughs> so by contrast. So, so your pale skin looks less pale. Like it's extremely pale. Clothing. And listen, I have a topic just as serious as Torkel. All right. So can we get yeah, right well, to who it? Who or what is in the cultural hall of shame? Uh, I'm shaming the latest in footwear travesties, Gian. The Uggs wedding collection. The Uggs wedding, is this yeah. a real thing? Yes, it is a real thing. Well, you know what Uggs are. I do know what Uggs suede are. Suede and wool Fluffy boots. booty from yeah. Australia that's invaded our shores like a, the worst plague. It makes zebra mussels seem like something tasty and appealing. Right, right. okay. And here and suddenly the, it, it is, I can't believe that not only do we have the original version of this horrible thing that you look at on your feet, uh, but now there's a, a, a wedding collection that mm. they've put out to get really? even more people. Yes, and people to wear Uggs. Uh, the women make will your work. wedding cozier. That's the tagline. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really a thing? Of course, it's a thing. Jen, right. Why would I invent? Why because would I, I don't know. You come in here each week and talk about. I don't I'm know. I'm going Is to make up a pretend thing. Why? <laughs> I mean, this is. I'm just telling you. This is. We we uh, accepted uh, Crocs. Yeah. We didn't rise up against uh, against the invasion of Crocs. And this is the price we're paying. <laughs> is that Crocs were allowed right. to exist? Crocs. Right. Here's what Crocs. Wearing Crocs. Accepting Crocs in our world says to people when you wear them, I am a sheep. Okay. <laughs> Putting Uggs on your feet right. tells the world, I want to be a sheep. <laughs> Basically. Right, right, right. So there are women who, uh, in, as part of their bridal outfit, are opting to wear... No, I'm asking you. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're okay. wearing... They're, they're, and, for, and I'm telling you, women, as if we are not uh, so overly <laughs> consumed with anything we put on, does this make me look fat? Somehow it's okay to put something on your feet that will make people ask, does, do these make me look sad? Yes. Yes, they do. They just make you look sad. They don't make you look like right, you're... Right, right. Like you're... You know, willing to take the world by storm. Right. It's like the most passive aggressive thing <laughs> you can. So that's a way you are walking through the world. You put Uggs on your feet. It, you are. It is a symbol <laughs> of your passive aggression. I resent responsibility. Ergo, I am going to have my feet uh, in a in a, in a foot swaddle. That's what I'm doing. Right. I see you. So. <laughs> And oh my God, as if being in a wedding no, party. I, I knew there was more, because yes. Because, Jean, yeah. they're, they're actually suggesting not only do you wear these at your wedding, but give them as, as wedding gifts to your bridal party, as if being in a wedding party isn't already tantamount to jury duty, right? That, you're, that, that, that your reward for wearing a plum, satin, heinous nightmare is it, that what you get as a thank you for that is that you get a pair of gormless, furry boot sacks. Not even the wildlings north of the wall. Right. In the Game of Thrones would be caught dead in these sad <laughs> foot bags. Okay. All right. Well, that's quite a, a condemnation of Uggs in general. But don't all, don't but, wear them. But it's yes. a, it is more but, than a cry all, but for certainly help. Certainly at the wedding, you feel. Uh, now, let me bring in it, it, our it, esteemed uh, Q columnist, uh, Torquil Campbell, since he refuses to leave. Yes. And he's sitting at the table still. Uh, now, what are, are, you, are, you, are you married yet? Because I know you're. Are you you're, married you're, yet? You're, Has anyone decided no, <laughs> no, no, no. that you. He's got a beautiful partner and they have a child. I just want to. I can't remember if you guys I, are married. I am married, yes. Uh, and at your wedding, Wedding, yes. would, would you have wanted your, your bride to be wearing uh, uh, Uggs? Right, so that after she says, I do, Simba, you look down at her feet and you say that she's also said, I give up. <laughs> we were married in the Caribbean, right? Uh, so it would have been inappropriate. But far be it for me to tell my wife what to put on her feet. Mm. She knows what's going on. What about Elvira? Could Elvira tell, tell her what I to think, put on her I feet? I think Elvira's made a compelling argument yes. against Uggs. I support Elvira's point of view. Unfortunately, at the moment, I am wearing Ugg's summer collection, <laughs> but that's just because right. I got them free in the mail. And so you're... please don't judge me, Elvira, for my summer collection Uggs. Wait, and for someone who claims to not be a consumer, well done, Torkel. <laughs>
with your with your oh they're free and how many times can we say uggs today i didn't, I mean, have, I didn't like, have to leave my oh listen we're not doing them any favors no they're uh, absolutely abysmal your wedding just i agree your wedding just got cozier is the tagline uh, <laughs> and sadder and more depressing right yeah alvira kurt comedian writer curator of oh, Q's I'll be back. cultural hall of shame once again torquil Let's campbell get to the band. member of the stars i mean yeah. what you know the it's album is stars, coming out Gian, it's at, just stars how many times do what i is, have to is tell there you a that? mercifully ariane Mafat. are you going to just play. say the ariane <laughs> Mafat? how look at you well, any opportunity high it's like five. Let's oh do this. Gang they're up just on sitting him. there they're, the drummer is All right. everybody out of the studio except for the band i'm not leaving Let's go to an id